So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to iOS 12 versus Android 9 Pi speed test. In this video, we're gonna speed test these two, representing them on the best phones you can, the iPhone 10 at the current moment and a Pixel 2 XL. So let's go ahead and begin with a boot up in three, two, one, and see which one can boot up first. Now I believe it's gonna be the Pixel 2 XL. It's, it's been one of the fastest booting phones I've ever seen, Android. 9 pi on the right and ios 12 beta 8 on the left and you can see it's the pixel for the win while we're still waiting on the iphone 10 and there's the iphone 10 so they're not too far apart but the pixel 2 xl is definitely the winner here on the boot up test so the iphone 10 is running ios 12 beta 8 16 a 5357 b over here on a Pixel 2 XL, you can see Android version 9. So both of these are up to date with their latest absolute versions you can run on either. Now, Apple did have to pull iOS beta 7 due to performance issues, and they quickly released beta 8. So that's where we stand for the iPhone. All right, guys, so we've arrived at the application portion of the speed test between iOS 12 and Android 9 Pi. You can see all apps closed on Android, all apps closed for iOS. Let's begin with the calendar and you could see iOS for the win there. What about the clock? And you could see that's iOS again, weather. And you can see iOS again, calculator. You can see it look like iOS one more time. Now take a look at how similar those animations are now, just the way they look. It feels like Google kind of copied Apple here because take a look at this older Pixel 2 XL with a little bit older you know, software on it, the Android 8.0. Now take a look at that animation in comparison to the new one. Now, take a look at this. Let's go to calculator one more time. And you can see, look how similar that is. I think that's a little unoriginal. I'm not trying to be just Apple bias here, but seriously, that's too close to be, you know, unique. So that looks very almost identical. What about Instagram? And you can see Instagram over here on the right, slightly to the Pixel 2 XL. And here we go iPhone 10 wins that one. Search bar about the same, hearts and about the same on both so great performers there twitter and twitter usually wins on android and it does again here on android 9 pi what about the snapchat and you can see snapchat for the win on android but we all know the camera in snapchat is usually a little bit better quality on the iphone let's go into whatsapp you could see that is the pixel 2 xl youtube now youtube definitely should be loading first for google and it does here on the right let's go into the trending tab you can see that's the iPhone 10. So the iPhone 10's YouTube app is very well optimized as well. Both are great performers there. What about Prime Video? And you see that is the Pixel 2 XL by a long shot there. And I found this video app to open a lot faster every time on the Pixel. What about Amazon? And you can see Amazon is first. Whoa, that's a tie. I think that's a tie. Call it down below. Let's open this link. Three, two, one. And you can see that's the Pixel 2. So very good performance on the Snapdragon 835 still even here in late 2018. Let's go into eBay. And you can see eBay is first for the Pixel 2 XL. Great performance on Android 9 Pi so far. What about Jetpack Joyride? Here's where the iPhone 10 on iOS 12 should just crush. And no, very close there on the load times. So let's go ahead and come home here and let me turn the volume down. Before we get into this next app, let me just turn on mute here for the iPhone. So let's go ahead and open up Slither 321, another very light application. And you see the iPhone 10 way ahead there, but when you actually get in loading them, it's about the same once you get into the application itself. So what about Dead Trigger 2? A little bit more graphics on both of these, and let's see what happens. And the iPhone 10 ahead here, Pixel 2 coming. Come on, Pixel. You can do it. Oh, this is a this is just a slaughter here for the iPhone 10. Okay, yes, big time win there for the iPhone 10. Now playing the game itself, I do find graphics to be a little bit better on the left uh, overall uh, over the Pixel 2 XL here on Android 9 Pi. But you've seen the gaming performance when it gets into the heavier stuff. The A11 Bionic seems to be the faster chip still. Let's go into Candy Crush, and you can see Candy Crush open first on which software, and that's going to be the left iOS 12 actually playing the game iOS 12 with a slight jump over Android 9 Pi but I mean performance now is actually very slight in 2018 versus like the past when certain phones would be faster than others now all phones are pretty close in performance it's going to Geekbench and you can see iPhone 10 a little bit ahead and video shop 
iPhone 10 a little bit ahead. So overall, iOS 12 seems like the applications are still staying very fast. I'm still looking for a little bit more speed. It doesn't seem too much different from iOS 11. Android 9 Pie seems very well suited for everyday heavy use as well. So both I did think did very well here. They were trading blows. Some open first on the Pixel 2 XL, some open first for the iPhone 10. Which one do you guys think is faster in a single round? Comment down below. All right, so quickly, I'm just gonna run through some multitasking on both devices to see if we do get any reloads. Three gigs of RAM here on the iOS 12 device, iPhone 10, and four gigs of RAM on the Android 9 Pie device, Pixel 2 XL. You can see no reload there, no reload there. Candy Crush and Jetpack, or this is not Jetpack, Dead Trigger, Slither. And you can see Jetpack Joyride. If you notice something, you can now swipe up here from the bottom you always have to find that bar like you had to in ios 11 to come out of applications for the iphone 10 so let's go into ebay and you can see amazon and prime video youtube and it looks like things are opening just fine no reload so far for ios 12 here twitter and let's go into instagram you can see calculator and weather and clock and calendar so great stuff there okay so here for the pixel 2 xl we're gonna go ahead and run through the same ones android 9 pi let's go into video shop geekbench candy crush does that a reload there yep that was a reload there for candy crush on the pixel 2 xl four gigs of ram versus three yet it reloaded what about dead trigger and you can see let's go into slither wow that was pretty slow feeling and coming home let's go into Ooh, let's go into Jetpack Joyride. This feels a lot slower than the iPhone 10 here on the multitasking round. Yeah, the next Pixel definitely needs more RAM. As you see, the newer Android phones with like 8 gigs of RAM are really showing how good Android can perform, but it needs more RAM. So coming home, let's go into the Prime Video and YouTube. Wow. And there it goes. Let's go into WhatsApp and let's go into Snapchat. Ooh, that was a little bit of a reload. Twitter. Twitter again with a slight chop. Let's go into Instagram. And that's a little bit slow. Calculator. Weather. Weather has to reload from the internet. Clock. And let's go into calendar. So I think that the Pixel 2 XL, because of its 4 gigs of RAM on an Android device that simply doesn't seem like it's enough, had a few issues in terms of the speed of reloading. It's still a fast phone, but I think the iPhone 10 did a little bit better here in the RAM management. Let me know your thoughts down below. So I did shoot a one minute video on both of these guys and I'm going to go ahead and render it out to see which one is a little bit better here in terms of video rendering both on the same application. Both shot at 1080p. I believe it was 30 frames a second. So let's go ahead and hit next for the pixel and let's hit the share icon. We're going to put in high settings as the iPhone seems to put it in high right out of the gate and let's hit gallery. Hold on. Let's hit gallery and next three, two, one. And see which one can compile this video first. So both are rocketing ahead, but it looks like the iPhone is way in the lead over the Pixel 2 XL. And there you go. Video rendering finished first for the iOS 12 device. And over here on Android 9 Pie, it looks like we do have a loss for the Pixel 2 XL pretty significantly. And if the video was a little bit longer, this might be even more significant. So the iPhone wins for the video rendering test. Okay, so we've basically arrived at the final Geekbench scores. One thing that I should mention is that pretty much every time I make these videos, the iPhone always really wins by a lot. Like I'm waiting like a whole minute for the Geekbench score to finish for the Android device. You can see that it's a blowout win here on Geekbench for iOS 12's latest device, the iPhone 10, and Android 9's latest device, the Pixel 2 XL. So Google's going to have to step it up with the Pixel 3 XL if they want to compete with the Apple A12 chip this year, which I think is going to be pretty tough considering that the iPhone 10 is basically blowing away the Android competition in the performance round. But one thing I want to mention about the iPhone 10 that I do like with iOS 12 is that you no longer have to hold down these applications. You can just swipe them away now. There's still no clear all button. But one thing about the Pixel 2 XL that I do like is this new gesture system. It's very nice. But one downside is you got to clear all the way over here. You got to go all the way over to clear all on the Pixel 2 XL. And sometimes if you do have an application open on the Pixel 2 XL and you want to go into the gestures, you'll sometimes do this on accident 
and sometimes it can get a little frustrating. So both systems are a newer way of operating your device and you're gonna have to get used to it. But on the whole, both are very fast. I think that, you know, the Pixel 2 just needs some more RAM and uh, maybe the Snapdragon 845 and it'll probably will easily beat the iPhone 10. But we'll have to see what Apple does with the A12 CPU. Which one do you think is faster, iOS 12 or Android 9 Pie? Quite honestly, I feel iOS 12 is a little faster than Android 9 Pie right now, but that might be limited by this hardware. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. I got Note 9 coverage coming soon. I also have the trio of iPhones coming to the channel, so keep it locked. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next episode, and peace.